Now, once your image gets uploaded on the server, the next thing to do is to resize the image to a width of 300 pixels before we put it in the S3 bucket. Now, the way we will do that is by using the Graphics Magic image processing library. So here I am on the Graphics Magic website, and if, like me, you want to install Graphics Magic on a Windows machine, what you'll need to do is just simply go into the download section of, of the website and look for the Windows binary packages. So just click on Windows and you'll get a list of Windows installables like so and you can simply download the Graphics Magic uh, 1.3.19 Q8 uh, Win64 or Win32 depending on your operating system and that would install the Graphics Magic library on your machine before we can actually use that in our project. If you're on a Mac or a Linux box then uh, you should be able to do a sudo apt get install gm and that should install Graphics Magic for you. We will cover that in one of the upcoming videos which shows you how to install Graphics Magic on the Amazon EC2 instance. So once you have this downloaded and installed on your machine, the next thing that we will require is the GM module for Node.js. The GM module interfaces with the Graphics Magic library installed on your machine to perform image processing. So let's start by installing GM. To do that, I'm going to go to the command line. And let's just simply do an npm install gm double hyphen save. I have already installed Graphics Magic on my machine, so I don't need to reinstall it. There. So once this is installed, let's go back into our app.js and let's call this in. So Let's do a gm is equal to require gm. And since all our processing is being done in the routes.js, we would need to provide a reference to the gm variable over here. So just put a comma and say gm. Go into the routes.js and we're going to put a reference here as well. Now to resize the file, what we will simply do is inside the callback function of the fs.rename method, I'm going to call gm by saying simply gm and inside the bracket, we will point to the file. We will provide the complete path to the file on the server. So that's simply the n file variable. What this will do is this will allow graphics magic to open the file. So once the file is opened, the next thing that we want to do is we want to resize the file to a width of 300 pixels. To do that, simply put a dot, resize, and in the bracket, write 300. And once the image has been resized, it has to be written to disk. So we will pipe in a write, and inside the write, we will provide the complete path to the file name to where you want to save the resized file. And in this case, we will simply have the same path so it will overwrite the file on the server. Next, we will have a callback function. And this is where we will upload to the S3 bucket. So that's how simple it is to resize an image which has been uploaded to the server by using the graphics magic module we started by downloading the graphics magic library we installed graphics magic on our machine and then we downloaded the gm module for node.js and once the gm module is loaded into a variable called gm we provide a reference to this variable to our routes.js function and within the routes.js we simply call gm and we provide the complete path to the file followed by a dot resize with 300 pixels as the width the height would be automatically calculated 
to ensure that the aspect ratio of the image is preserved. And then finally, we pipe in a dot write, which will write the resized file back to the drive at, from the same path from where it has loaded the file in the first place. 